Hi, I'm Erin Gordon, one of the CPMC Genetic Counselors. Before viewing your results, I want to give you some important information about what your results can and cannot tell you. When viewing your results for any condition, it's important to remember that the CPMC looks at risk of disease, but does not actually provide a medical diagnosis. If you think that you're having symptoms of one of the conditions, please contact your medical provider. Iron overload is an adult onset disorder that causes people to store too much iron in their body. Some people with iron overload have symptoms, while others do not. When iron overload occurs along with symptoms, like weakness, fatigue, and joint pain, the condition is called hemochromatosis. If left untreated, hemochromatosis can lead to organ damage. Iron overload is typically diagnosed by a doctor using blood tests to measure levels of iron in the blood. Treatment involves frequent blood draws or blood donation. Early diagnosis and treatment are important as treatment may be able to reverse most of the symptoms. There are both genetic and non-genetic forms of iron overload and hemochromatosis. The CPMC test looked at your risk for the most common genetic form of this condition. Your risk for the most common genetic form was determined by looking for the C282Y variant in a gene called HFE. This variant accounts for almost 90% of cases of hemochromatosis in the Caucasian population. Hemochromatosis is one of the most common genetic disorders in the general population, affecting more than one person out of every 300. The C282Y variant is most common in people of European ancestry, with approximately one in eight people in this population carrying one copy of the C282Y variant. This variant is rarely found in people of African American, Hispanic, or Asian ancestry. Remember that we all have two copies of every gene. We inherit one copy from our mother and one from our father. This means that for every genetic variant the CPMC study looks at, you can have either zero, one, or two copies of the genetic risk variant. Your results will tell you how many copies of the risk variant you have and the risk of developing iron overload based on your gender and the number of risk variants that were detected in your sample. Men and women have different risks of developing iron overload. This is due in large part to a woman's menstrual cycle, during which women naturally eliminate iron from the body. For this reason, the risk of iron overload in women is greatest after menopause. If no copies of the risk variant are detected, this means that your risk for the most common form of genetic iron overload is low, but your risk is not zero. The risk is not zero because it's possible that you could have other variants in the HFE gene that are not able to be detected by the CPMC test. If one copy of the risk variant is detected, your risk is also low, but it is still not zero. It's possible that your second copy of the HFE gene could have a risk variant that was not detected by the CPMC test. Finally, if two copies of the risk variant are found, you're at risk to develop iron overload and hemochromatosis. Although individuals with two copies of the risk variant are at greatest risk to develop this condition, not everyone who has two copies of the risk variant will develop either iron overload or hemochromatosis. Genetic testing is not able to predict which individuals will have symptoms and at what age symptoms may occur. Individuals at highest risk for developing iron overload and hemochromatosis include Caucasian men age 30 to 50, Caucasian women age 50 and older, and individuals with a family history of iron overload or hemochromatosis. Results of CPMC testing alone do not diagnose iron overload or hemochromatosis, nor do they rule out these conditions. Risk factors such as age, family history, or lifestyle may have a greater impact on your risk than any individual genetic variant. If you have questions about your results, please consider discussing them with your healthcare provider or contact a CPMC genetic counselor.
If you have questions about your results, consider sharing your results with your healthcare provider or contact a CPMC genetic counselor for more information.